Hello friends. Thank you so much for joining my Facebook group. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, because I will be putting this video out on YouTube a little bit after I put it out in the Facebook group as a way to just like give a little shout out. If you want to join my Facebook group, I have one. You can check it out down below. We'll be talking about things like telepathy, manifestation, pretty much anything to do with psychic ESP abilities. Some of the content that I put out on the Facebook group will not be going on to the YouTube channel, so there's going to be some exclusive content on there um, as well as just like other things, you know, establishing community and all of that stuff is really important during this time. Um, you know, so there will be like-minded people. So if you want to talk about fun things like your manifestation success stories, um, weird trippy experiences that have happened to you, check out the Facebook group. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description box below. This video is going to be about tricking your nervous system into thinking that you already have whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, because that's really the only key. Um, that is necessary in effective manifestation is just convincing yourself that you are already in the reality where you have the thing that you are seeking out or the thing that you are magnetizing into your life. And sometimes we get really caught up in all of the different techniques and the trying and the output, right? Like I have to do this and I have to find this and I have to seek this out in order to attain it. When manifestation is really about aligning to the version of yourself where you have said thing and then just letting your body doing the, do the rest, like letting your subconscious do the rest of the work, um, the unconscious choices that you are making will align you with that outcome as long as you believe it to be true. And the best way to gear your subconscious in that direction is to trick your nervous system because at the end of the day, we are just a consciousness with organs. <laughs> we are just a consciousness with a nervous system. And the thing about the organs in our body is that they do hold a level of intelligence. Like our body unconsciously is very, very intelligent um, and is reading the environment around us based on the emotions and the feelings that you are expressing. That's why, you know, they talk about the feeling being the secret because you are literally telling your body through your feelings what is happening in your life. I think a really great example of this concept is, you know, the process of putting your body into sleep paralysis. You know, you always hear that certain breathing patterns and just lying still and not doing anything for 45 minutes to an hour, two hours, convinces your body and convinces your brain that you're asleep. So your body falls asleep and it actually, you know, becomes paralyzed. It's kind of that same idea, except you're manifesting and you're bringing certain things into your life rather than paralyzing your body. <laughs> sleep paralysis aims to paralyze the body, um, you know, because when you go into sleep paralysis, you can't act out your dreams. Um, whereas this process is going to bring in your desires. It's going to bring in the things that you've been trying to manifest, um, even though there is no trying process. It's not a trying process. It's something that you just, you, you be, you are, <laughs> you exist as you would if you had said manifestation until it aligns, until it actually materializes. So these exercises are going to be something that you can integrate every single day, like every single day, every time you think about your manifestation, every time you you know, become afraid, every time you start worrying and getting anxious of like, oh my God, like what if I can't have it? And you start spiraling into that state of not feeling worthy, of not feeling like you can attain your manifestation, of feeling like you're the only person who's not gonna get your manifestation, you're seeing all these success stories, um, you know what I mean? And, and you just start spiraling into that negative thinking. These exercises are going to be what you can do um, paired with affirming, like if you want to incorporate affirming into this, you can, um, but you don't even have to affirm. You really just have to do these things that I'm gonna be talking about in just a second um, and it's automatically going to convince your body that you're okay, that you're in a place where you have whatever it is that you want. So the first technique is breath work. And this, in my opinion, is the most important technique and the most important thing anybody could be doing with anything in their life, not even just manifestation, but like we should be incorporating breath work a lot more than we do. Um, I think a lot of problems are actually rooted in the fact that we don't connect with our breath enough. So what breath work does is it, you know, it triggers certain nerves when your lungs expand and contract, they're hitting certain nerves within your rib cage. And those nerves are telling your brain, 
whether or not things are okay in your life. It triggers your amygdala specifically, which is responsible for your emotional regulation. So when you're in a place of, you know, being anxious and freaking out and worrying and spiraling, you know, oftentimes our breathing is paired with that, that place of being stressed out, spastic, right? It's like we start hyperventilating and all of that. So what that's telling your brain is like, oh my God, danger, something's wrong right now. I should, you know, I should do something. And it starts to frantically act out, you know, in a place of being fearful. And sometimes that causes us to act impulsively, which can take us away from what we're trying to achieve. When you breathe in a way that is rhythmic, your lungs begin to tap these nerves and tell your amygdala that you are fine, that you're in a good place, that you're happy, that you're aligned, you know, that you're taken care of, that you're safe. Because at the end of the day, that is where all of our resistance lies, is within our feelings of safety and security. Um, you know, whether that's being secure about your looks because you want your SP to like you, or that's, you know, your security in regards to your finances, it always trails back to your sense of safety and your sense of security. So as long as those things are taken care of and you convince your brain that you are safe and that you are secure, um, everything else will fall into place. You will begin to subconsciously make decisions from that place of being safe from that place of being secure, which will ultimately take you to more security, to more safety. It all just boils down to our adrenaline. Do we feel safe or do we not feel safe? So if you can convince yourself that you are safe 90% of the time, or what is it, 85% of the time, then you will begin to align with experiences that safety is your foundation. And when you have safety, that foundation of safety set and secured, everything else will begin to just fall into place effortlessly. The second way to convince your brain that you are already in alignment with what is whatever it is that you want is visualization and integrating the emotions of whatever it is that you want to experience. Do you want to experience more love? How does being overwhelmed with attention from the opposite sex feel? Um, how does it feel to be overwhelmed with love from your partner? Um, you know, having too many dates, be feeling overwhelmed because you have too many dates and it's just like you don't feel like you have enough time. Being overwhelmed doesn't always have to be a bad thing. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can be overwhelmed with things that are good. You can be overwhelmed with things that are positive in your life. So inviting in that overwhelming sensation, that overwhelming emotion, and even the negative, because you are still going to experience negative emotions even when you get your manifestation. So what are going to be the things that frustrate you? You know, sometimes we, we tend to think about like the happy emotions all the time, right? But the reality of the situation is that we're still going to experience our grand spectrum of emotions, regardless of whether we have our manifestation or not. So what are some of the, you know, the irritations that are gonna come along with your manifestation? What are some of the things that are going to kind of make you feel a sense of nostalgia or whatever. So the whole premise behind this entire video is just to convince your nervous system that you are safe. Whether that's through yoga, whether that's through breath work, whether that's through affirming, whether that is through visualization. Sorry, there's like a really loud train in the background. I know it's very disruptive. Um, but whether that is through any technique, the idea is to just convince yourself that you are safe, to convince your nervous system that you are safe and that you already have your manifestation and that you are safe because you already have your manifestation. It is already within you. It is already a part of your reality. You don't have to do anything. Just continue to live your day-to-day -day life and do what feels good and it'll find you. It'll find you and the less you try the quicker it can find you so that is this video that is the conclusion of this video i don't know i just felt very called to put this out as the first video along with facebook group i'm going to start coaching um, i'm going to be doing psychic coaching specifically so those who want to develop intuitive gifts those who want to become more of an empath if you want to hone your empath abilities um, hone your telepathy hone your astral projection skills, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you want to learn in terms of ESP, 
um, I'm going to be coaching for that. So if you're wanting to take your psychic abilities deeper and you really want to tap into the other side and you want to tap into the non-material aspect of our world, um, you can check out my coaching sessions. I'm going to be having group coaching sessions for 99 bucks a month. And, you know, it's a great way to build community, great way to get to know other people, learn with other people. I'm also going to be doing individual coaching sessions. Um, you can check those all out on my website. I'll have it linked down below in the description box. So yeah, aside from that, I will see you later. Check out my new song, Never Ending Loop, guys. Like, <laughs> I'm just really excited to start putting out music again. Um, I was kind of like on a hiatus for a little bit. I went on a little hiatus from making music. I just wasn't really feeling inspired, but like lately I've been feeling inspired again. So I will be putting out more music. I hope to have a album um, out by the end of this year. So we'll see how that goes. Other than that, thank you so much again. If you've already joined my Facebook group, thanks for the support, guys. And I can't wait to connect with you more. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.